Starting a story in a nonfiction book is always really hard because you're at the point where you're actually the most overwhelmed with information and now you have to figure out a way into the story. And so I'm always looking for a human story, a story that a reader could read and see themselves in a little bit. This is the very beginning of my book, Mary and Lou and Rhoda and Ted, which is about the Mary Tyler Moore show. And it is about one of my favorite people that I met doing the research for that, Treva Silverman. You may be able to tell how much I love her, but she was a writer for the Mary Tyler Moore show eventually, and this is her backstory that I felt was very indicative of the many of the women who wrote for the Mary Tyler Moore show. Treva Silverman had always wanted to be the beautiful, funny, smart heroine of a 1930s screwball comedy. When Treva watched Jean Arthur and Carol Lombard, she wanted to soak up every last bit of them, the way her movie house popcorn soaked up melted butter. Treva had one other escape route from suburban ennui. Every week, she took the train from her family's home in Cedarhurst for more than an hour to get to New York City. It was where she belonged, she was sure. She'd race down to the New York Public Library in Midtown Manhattan to read her way through the vast stacks of the humor section in alphabetical order. She had found her people, the humor writers for The New Yorker. They had met daily throughout the 20s for lunches at the Algonquin Hotel, forming a loose camaraderie called the Algonquin Roundtable. They were known for their sharp witticisms and one-liners, which were quoted all over the newspaper columns. More importantly, the Algonquin Round Table consisted of men and, yes, women. Truva read on and on as afternoon turned into dusk, the shadows cast by the library's stone lions growing longer until they dissolved. She wished she could travel back to the days of the Algonquin Round Table, or even better, somehow getting a seat at that table. I felt like, especially here, this is a story about women making it on their own. And they really mirrored what the Mary Tyler Moore show was about. In this case, I kept thinking, what would the Mary Tyler Moore show episode about this look like? How would it start? And I thought coming in with young Treva and her inspirations and her aspirations, both of those are in that passage. And so that was how I felt like I could see myself getting into that. and then that was sort of what I wanted to take the reader in through.